Hello, this will be a newer style video. This is going to be me just going over a bunch of movie and TV news, mainly stuff that I find interesting, but other stuff on the side too, just in case uh, some other people find it interesting as well. But I'm mainly going to like cover Marvel and DC and that kind of stuff with movies and horror and all that fun stuff. And um, I wasn't planning on making this video today, but a few things came out that I really want to talk about. So anyway, without further ado, shall we begin? Like I said, this is a uh, relatively new video that I'm going to be doing on the channel, but I just feel like it would be fun to talk about, like, current movie stuff and all that. Talk about a new trailer if it came out, talk about some news if it broke, especially with everything going on at DC behind the scenes and pretty much just everything going on within the movie universe right now. So, um, the first thing that we got is I'm a little behind on this, like, I'm a little late to the party, but we got the new, uh, Flash logo or promotional art within the, um, new Flash movie. It gives us a better better look at Supergirl. I think she looks pretty good in it. Um, I still think Melissa Benoist will be uh, the better choice, but she doesn't look bad at all. We got two versions of the Flash suit. The one on the far side, I'm not really a big fan of. The neck looks way, way too big, but I can understand that's because of um, it's a repurposed Flash suit. If you didn't know that, it's not a spoiler. It's literally in the uh, trailer, and um, it has Barry in the middle. That suit I like a bit more, but I gotta say the main thing that I really wanted to talk about that we were looking at is uh, Michael Keaton's Batman. He is back, and he looks awesome in it, and he honestly just looks so happy to be there and I'm super happy to see him back and it's a bit it's a promising look into the movie which I'm hoping is pretty good here's hoping so the next thing that we got is I thought this would just be fun to talk about is um Megan's uh from the new movie Megan which is uh, about a uh robotic doll come to life and pretty much it's Chucky on um not with the gore, but with, like, the way that the stall can move on steroids, and I feel like that's gonna be super, super fun to watch, and, um, they invaded a football game, and, uh, like, you could see all the stuff on TikTok, I also have a TikTok under the same name, Maddie the Geek 97 gotta do the shameless plug, as always, but, um, it, like, it was just fun to see them walking around, invading the football game, and honestly, it was a little creepy, and it kind of gave me vibes of, um, the smile marketing camp, uh, well, not the, just the smile marketing, it was, really well done and it leaves an impression on you and you really do like remember it in a little time from now and it does make me want to see the movie a bit more now and I just thought it was a really fun way to go about advertising this Next movie. One that we got is uh, Bender Dick Cumberbatch is actually going to star in a new Netflix show. It is a six mini uh, six episode mini event and it's called uh, Eric. What it is pretty much is that uh, Bender Dick Cumberbatch plays America's best puppeteer and life starts to unravel and he ends up becoming homeless when his son goes missing and his only companion is Eric, a seven foot tall blue puppet. So I'm like, okay, this actually sounds kind of interesting. I'm not really sure what to make of it, but I feel like it'll still be a cool watch nonetheless. They got that other show going on right now called Kaleidoscope, which is pretty much like you can watch it in any order whatsoever because that's how they filmed it. I find that really cool. And um, Netflix is usually good, especially with miniseries because therefore, you know, not worried about it getting a second season because Netflix really has a tendency to cancel things and you got better to Cumberbatch in it as well so I feel like you can't really go wrong with that he's a very solid actor the premise sounds interesting and I feel like it could be very comical if done right but anyway that is some breaking news on that and it is called Eric on Netflix. So the next one that we got is uh Misha Collins which is from the Supernatural f uh, fame he played Castiel he uh he's playing a Harvey Dent on Gotham Knights uh, the trailer was released. I know a lot of people didn't think the trailer looked great by any means. I mean, I thought it looked okay, so I'll definitely be watching it because it's DC related stuff and I'm such a geek for that stuff so I'll be watching it nonetheless but um he revealed an image on Instagram which is going to be going up right now that he uh, is doing the makeup test for Two-Face he had the like the thing like this to uh, have the side like that and then he also had a full cast so Misha Collins is pretty much the DC version right now of Tom Holland because he cannot keep his mouth shut and he's literally like one of the other cast members called him a walking spoiler but this honestly honestly kind of gets me a bit more hyped up for the show because I'm like okay this is actually really cool I am 100% down for this now that we know he's gonna turn into Two-Face so if this doesn't get a second season we could still see what his Two-Face looked like 
So I'm actually pretty pumped for that. And when it comes out, I might do review videos for it or I might just do a uh, season overview. I'm not really 100% sure on that, but I am looking forward to that, especially seeing Misha play like a, an evil character, a bad character. That could be very, very cool. So coming in in the uh, Flash line, because they just released a new uh, promotional poster, which I'll put up right now, hashtag the final run. But a lot of other stuff going on too is that um, they're announcing a lot of comebacks and all that because uh, we know that um, if you don't want big spoilers, this is going to be your spoiler right now, even though it's going to be all over the internet. Um, the uh, first one is that we're getting uh, Kenyon's Lonsdale back. I probably mispronounced that and I do apologize as Wally West, which I am hyped for. We have not seen him in a while in the show. I think the last time, I could be wrong, but I think the last time we saw him was on Legends of Tomorrow. And uh, the big, big thing that I want to talk about is I can't believe that they announced this. This is why I wanted to make the video is that Stephen Amell is coming back as Green Arrow for the final season of Flash. I believe it's in episode 9 from everything that I read and honestly like I am so hyped for this like I am so so excited to see him back especially like in the Arrowverse one last time the Flash season 9 is going to be bringing a close to the Arrowverse so like how can you not have the guy that created it back and he is back and I am honestly so so hyped for it like at first I was just like oh yeah this is going to be a cool final season I like that they're bringing everyone back but now that they announced Stephen Amell is coming back they got me all all other kinds of hyped i really really can't wait for this season as you could tell like the excitement is is just a genuine with me when it comes to this stuff because i i practically grew up on the arrowverse i watched it since it began and now i'm gonna see it end and it is bittersweet but the fact that we're getting Stephen amell back it is just gonna be awesome i feel like they released this because they didn't want it getting out because he's gonna be in vancouver he's gonna be filming so they're like okay we should just make an official announcement that he's back and honestly it's just i really really am excited for this and it's just like so happy to have him back, but Stephen Amell is returning to the Arrowverse one more time, one more final bow. So that was all the movie slash TV news as of uh, January 4th, 2023. As I said, this is going to be a relatively new concept that I'm going to be doing. I feel like it'd be just super cool to just talk about like movie stuff and just uh, TV stuff and see everything going on. Like I said, I am super hyped for Stephen Amell uh, as well. But if you are, let me know down in the comments below because there's a few interesting things that we talked about in this video. But if you have any video requests, please uh, let me know down in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply if I do. It is. It does mean that it's being made. It's just going to be a minute or so before I make it. But anyway, thanks for watching as always. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye.